Hey folks, it's Shane from Performance EV. Today we're doing a project update on the Porsche. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So for those of you new to this channel, this is my little spot on YouTube where I put electric motors into fun and interesting cars. Now, uh, we've got a couple of projects going on the channel. The last video was about uh, our Beetle. Uh, this one's going to be about the Porsche. If you're new to the channel and you want to get caught up, there's a link up above to the last video I did on the car. And today I just kind of wanted to give you a bit of a project update of where we are. It's been a while since I've done a video on this car and that's been, I, I have been working on it but it's kind of been very piecemeal. Uh, lots of small little jobs or parts of jobs, nothing that really comes together uh, in terms of the content that I want to produce on the, the channel. When I you know, sometimes I'll produce a video, but it might have actually been done over two or three weeks in, you know, a, an hour here and there and that sort of stuff. And so I've got a few things there that will come together hopefully over the next few weeks. But I just wanted to tell you exactly where things are with the car and what we've been working on and what we will be working on. So uh, we're at the front of the car at the moment. So one of the issues that I had in the past was um, the brakes. So the brakes were kind of shot on this car initially. Um, I had to do a complete kind of overhaul of the main part of the system, so new master cylinder, new brake booster. Um, and I'm gonna have to replace a bunch of the brake pipes. Uh, they're corroded to the point where they just won't pass the MOT. So that's a, a future job. But the calipers also caused me problems. So um, they were a pain to get off in the first place. Uh, the, the bolts, going through into the into the hubs were um, totally seized and you know I, I ended up having to do all sorts of things to get them off um, so the bat calipers weren't in great nick at that point but then once I got them kind of cleaned up a bit and back on I was still having trouble um, on a couple of them things like the the bleed screws were causing me problems totally seized um, and at least one of them is now basically totally unusable I, I haven't been able to, to get it back up so I bought a set of calipers off eBay, which I thought were going to be spot on, but I did not realize at the time that the calipers for the um, Carrera 4S would use the same one as the turbo, which means they have a slightly different, um, because it's very similar to the turbo, they got slightly different uh, wheel carriers and all this sort of thing. So actually things like the bolts and stuff don't line up uh, on the front. So. I've actually been using the rear calipers from that set that I bought on the front just for giving me braking while the car's moving around on the driveway, but that's not really enough for being out on the road. And it, it probably actually is. Uh, you know, the, these are Brembo's, they're, they're great, they're well designed, but for proper braking power, the way the Porsche is supposed to have, they won't, they won't be sufficient. The pistons are too small. Um, but they're, they're in good nick, so I'll probably keep the rear ones, move them to replace the ones I have on my rear, uh, on the rear of this car, and then I've got some new ones to go on here. And I've had a lot of trouble finding uh, replacement front calipers for the Carrera 2, uh, which is what this car is, uh, for the era, or at least reasonably priced. Um, you can buy them new from Porsche for about 500 quid, um, but I wanted to save a little bit of money, so I was buying second hand. So I've been doing some digging and a bit of research on the internet. And from what I've seen, it looks like Porsche continued to use these 996 brake calipers, the ones that were on the Carrera 2, into the kind of uh, Cayman um, right up to kind of the middle of the last decade. So there's more stuff out there than I realized. And by changing search parameters, I was able to find some. But yeah, so we've got those, got them fit. Um, so we've got our original brakes in the rear, we've got the new ones on the front, so that is all good. I am gonna take the brake system apart slightly again, and that is just to do um, brake pipes. The, uh, there are various parts around the car where they're rusted. There are parts where it looks like they've been replaced, but they haven't been replaced very well. So I'm probably just gonna I'll do it in stages, but I'll go after the, the worst of them and the, the least accessible ones first and get those sorted. And then we'll have 100% working brakes that I won't have to touch for quite a while. 
So just to demonstrate here about the difference that I was talking about in the size between the standard Carrera brake caliper and the Carrera 4S one, or, or also used in the turbo, um, you can just see this one is beefier. It's longer, it's wider, uh, it's deeper, I'll show you that in a second, and the mounting holes slightly further apart. Obviously it's built for bigger discs and uh, yeah this one's built for smaller discs. Now it'd be really cool if I could fit those on the car and I probably could with a lot of effort but there'd be spacers, there'd probably be some sort of spacer for the actual brake disc and it's just not worth it. The standard brakes are actually supposed to be really really good so we're just going to go with these. As I said these are actually from a Cayman not a 996 but if you look down here you can see they still have the 996 product number. So this one has been in production and used by Porsche for probably the bones of 15, 18 years because this is from like a 2014, 2013 uh, Cayman, which I think is pretty cool. So the other thing I've been doing is when we did the um, videos last year around replacing the track control arms and the um, the shocks I never actually got around to doing the other side uh, it was in too close to the the hedges and I yeah I didn't get around to moving the car so now that we've got the car inside I've got the all the control arms out uh, except this guy which I caught uh, and I'll get the rest of it out once I find my 16 mil um, socket but yeah so that's those are out so I'll get the new ones in and then we'll be um yeah all good on this side Same need to do the similar thing on the front because as you can see these um shocks are pretty pretty rotten um i think this one might actually be even worse than the one i took out on the other side so we're going to get drop these get them out get the control arms off and do that um and yeah, then we'll have the front fully fully sorted. And then down the back, we've got our favorite little uh, hole in the car. So I've got a, I haven't been able to get a specific panel for this bit of the car. You have to buy the entire quarter panel, but I have been able to get a section a bit further down, which is pretty much the same uh, arc to it. It just flares out slightly here. So I'm hoping that I can just cut a section out of that and I'll be able to use it to fit in this. Probably going to have to cut this a little bit wider but um, yeah we'll have to tackle that some point soon. We're inside, we're in the dry so it's as good a time as any. And then at some point soon we're going to actually take the front apart um, so I can replace the kind of broken bits of these brackets and stuff. So I've got new brackets uh, to replace these ones for both sides. I've got some other bits and pieces that I think I'm going to need uh, to just get the, the whole front working and then we can also at the same time look into what we can do around getting the um, cooling from up here in the front back to the the motor inverter in the back. So there we go that's pretty much where we are with the Porsche and what the plan is over the next few days weeks however long it takes me to to do it. Um, all these jobs are things that just needed to be done to make the car roadworthy. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to just blast through them whenever I can. Um, plenty of them are things you've seen me do before. Uh, so I probably won't have a huge amount of content on it because yeah, I've, I've already done them all and I'll be showing you guys new things, different things, other things that are happening with the car. Uh, so I'm just going to try and get through these as quickly as possible and then we can get back to finishing off the the fun things on the car and the interesting things on it. Um, yeah, still working on the battery box. Battery pack is still over there. Uh, once I've got a, once I've got a clear idea exactly what I'm doing with that and gotten a bit of the way through it, I'll throw some video up about that. And um, I think I've got a, an idea around what I'm going to do with the charging. So there'll be some videos coming on that at some point soon as well. Um, but yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this brief, uh, yeah, brief update. Um, not my normal video, but if this is the sort of thing you're interested in and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, comments always appreciated as are likes. And um, yeah, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.